Do you want to add your best friends to your BO Pro experience? Maybe the whole team that you play for, you want them in the NHL. Maybe you want to add a couple of legends. You want to feed passes to Brett Hall for huge one-timers, or maybe you want to be Nicholas Lidstrom's defensive partner. If you have time, you could actually bring back the entire 80s Oilers and play with them in Be A Pro. How? Today, I'm going to show you how. I've been getting a lot of questions and a lot of requests for this video on how I got created players into my Be A Pro career mode. So, let's do it. The first part, the first step towards your hockey greatness is going to go to roster, and then you're going to go to active roster, and you're going to make sure that you did... Okay, well, apparently I'm having network connection issues, but you're going to activate the latest roster that you can, obviously because you want the latest roster possible. Other than that, the second step is very simple. You're going to go, you're going to go create a player. Now, what you're going to create is going to depend on the route that you want to take to the NHL. So we're going to create Joe NHL's distant cousin, and uh, Josh KHL is going to be added to the BIA profile that uh, we're going to start here today for the purposes of this video. Now, you can make him whatever. We're going to make him a center playmaker. Uh, we're going to have a left wing as a secondary position, whatever number. You create your, your player, right? Everything that you want. Now, if you want to put him on an NHL team, a certain NHL team, and you, and you want to play with him, first of all, you'll have to choose the... NHL career path where you don't go through the draft or anything and you just pick your team But if you want to do that, then I suggest you make their pro team Here whatever team you want to have now After that you're gonna want to probably give him a pretty long contract if you want to stay If you want them to stay on that team for a little bit other than that It's not that necessary if you're going to the CHL or the Champions Hockey League now if you're gonna to go to Europe you want to make him a 2002 draft year so that he's 18 years old and he can actually be drafted at the same time as you and you'll just end up being drafted to different teams. If you're going to a specific NHL team, you can make him whatever age you want as long as he is 18 years or older. However, if you're going to a CHL team that is Canadian Hockey League, you can make him younger. You can make 17, 16, and 15 year olds in the Canadian Hockey League. They just won't be drafted quite as fast but for the purposes of this video we'll say that we either want to put him on an nhl team or a champions hockey league team in europe so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna give him a random birthday we're gonna go may 7th there you go boom and in 2002 which is going to make him 18 years old now josh khl uh, typically you're gonna want to make his attributes a little bit better because if, if he's 50 overall you're not really going to get to to see him because the coach won't play him but you can spend as much or as little time as you want with the creation of the character you can make him 99 high franchise and he's going to tear up everything you can make it a little bit more realistic like in the mid 70s whatever whatever you want to do go ahead and do it for the purposes of this though we're not going to go through it we're just going to create him so now that he's created it is very simple you see here his player card is going to say he's 18 years old which means we can add him to whatever team we want now it's very simple you're going to go click x on him you're going to assign him to the team even if you gave him a contract sometimes they'll still go to free agency in this case we want to go to europe with our bio pro so we're going to go to the del and add him to Mannheim. so we get to play with uh with our boy josh khl and tim stutzel now now that we add him boom as long as this happens and he's added to the team all you got to do now is start your be a profile you don't want to do anything else as soon as you create him you want to just go ahead and start your be a pro you go to be a pro career and you go boom new it's going to play the cutscene. you're going to create your character and if you go to Mannheim, josh khl or whoever you create is going to be there now you can add actual legends to the team okay you can you can do it if you want i don't recommend you do this this way but this is one of the ways you can do it you go to player movement off of the roster menu you go to whatever association i'm gonna add wayne gretzky for example since i'm an oilers fan let's uh i went the wrong way it would have been more efficient to go down but whatever we're gonna add wayne gretzky to oh, the coyotes would be funny but we're gonna add wayne gretzky to the Edmonton Oilers, making him, uh, making the Oilers rather, uh, even more deadly on offense than they are right now. You just add him, boom, he's gonna be there. The problem with doing it like this is Wayne Gretzky is, uh, old. There's no nice way to put it. He is old. So he's not gonna play that long. They're, 
the most likely scenario is that character retires immediately upon you starting it, okay? So don't do that. What I recommend you do, I'm going to put Gretzky back in the uh, in the Alumni Association so that I don't accidentally start a, another be a profile or whatever with Wayne Gretzky on the Oilers. What I recommend you do is go here, click the right stick, okay, R3 or RS, whatever you want to call it. Cycle over with the bumpers to his player card right here. Take a screenshot of that, and that's going to give you the precise attributes for that particular legend. Back out, and then you go through the whole process that I already showed you. You just go here, creation zone, create a player, and you make Wayne Gretzky off of the screenshot that I showed. You can even use your phone to take a picture of your screen if you want. It's really simple, but that is how you do it. Now, if you plan on making your custom character a CHL player, as in Canadian Hockey League, you can make him 18 years old and he's going to be drafted, but you can also cheat it a little teeny tiny bit okay you can do it you can go you can edit him now he's on he's on freaking Mannheim, but whatever you can go edit him you can make him 2003 which is going to be a 17 year old but as long as his birthday is between the start of the memorial cup and the next season starting for example if we make it july we'll make it kind of late july we'll make it july yeah 27 if we make his birthday july 27th He's going to be a 17 year old and he's going to be turning 18 before the NHL season starts, which means he's going to be eligible to be drafted as a 17 year old. So if you want to do that, and by the way, I just showed you how to do it uh, for a European team. As long as you put him on the roster, you can then make him 17 years old and that's fine. But just make sure, make sure that they're going to turn 18 before the NHL season starts. If you do that, they're going to be eligible to be drafted that season so that's how you do it that's how i add created players to my bio profiles and that is how you like i said if you have enough time and you're willing to do it you could conceivably create the entire 80s oilers or the entire 2009 penguins anything any team that you want you can add him and then just replace the current team through the player movement and just do that so it's huge i hope that you enjoyed this and i hope that it was helpful to you because i've been getting a lot of questions about this but that is how you add created players to your be a pro mode if this was helpful and you enjoy be a pro content hit your boy up with a subscribe all that shit all that youtube stuff man like subscribe y'all already know okay thank you i'm out of here